Hey guys, and welcome to this, well, not really awesome video, I guess, but more emotional video. Um, I do want to spread more and more awareness of bullying and what a better way on um, thinking about all these people that we have lost um, due to bully side. If you don't know what bully side is, watch my other video that I posted yesterday will be coming out that you guys would be watching this reality I pretty much with like five minutes apart but not the point but today we will be recognizing a victim and want to share his story um and his name is Ryan Holiday. Ryan Holiday was a 13 year old boy um, he passed away in 2003, in October, I believe. I think it's October 17th, 2003. And his father goes all over and travel, spread awareness of his son bully, being bullied and bully side. And go to different schools, talk to them. Um, if any schools wants to invite me, I would be more than happy to go. Um, if any of the principals are watching, I would be more than happy to. Because I know um, they will listen to a person more their age. Well, well, some of them will. And hopefully we can stop this together. Okay? Um, if you guys are teachers or whatever, um, share this with your students. Um, and yeah. Or even parents, share this video to your kids, um, because you will never know when your loved one is gone. These people have suffered the worst. These parents lost, losing their child, their baby. And there is nothing worse than a parent losing their kid. Especially, unexpectedly, like, suicide. Because half the time, they don't even get help or don't even show really too many signs. So we'll start on the first video. Experts say there has been a rise in homophobic teasing in grade school and middle school. This type of bullying contributed to young Ryan Halligan taking his life five years ago. Watch this. Ryan Halligan's parents say kids started teasing him in fifth grade. When Ryan came to me and said he was being picked on, my initial response was, it's just words. You need to just ignore him. Walk away. When? That what they all say. But they don't realize on how hard that is when the people just keep on following you. Okay? Trust me. Or if they are in your class, or they are, have their assigned seat next to you, or... That's not very easy to do, and that, that's what most of the older generation says. Um, like, the people, like, our parents, or grandparents, or even great-grandparents of that kind of generation. They didn't have to, I mean, they might have a little bullying, but nothing as severe as we have it today. Okay. Um, so usually they might say, yeah, just walk away. It's just words. Yeah, it's just words. But sometimes words can hurt more than being than physicality. Okay. Just remember that. Ryan's self-esteem started to plummet a bit because of these uh, kids picking on him. I did get him a counselor. The combination of a therapist and the advice that we were giving him, I, you know, I thought we were going to be okay. I was never prepared for that phone call. It was my wife, Kelly, crying hysterically. John, you need to come home. You need to come home. Our son is dead. Ryan killed himself. If I had the opportunity to talk to Ryan right now, I would say, Ryan, I love you. I want to make sure you, un <laughs> you understand that I love you. We're going to be together again someday. 
It has been 12 years since Ryan Holiday committed suicide. We checked in with his father, John, to see how his family is healing. Since I've been on the show with Oprah, I left IBM and I'm now speaking at schools full time. So I've been sharing Ryan's story with students, uh, middle school level and high school level for the last, uh, it's almost seven years now, full time. Uh, so I've been to about 1,300 schools at this point. 300 schools. Uh, throughout the United States, uh, Canada, Mexico. And, um, you know, it's a way of trying to uh, and Canada, help even. kids understand the impact of suicide on a family and also understand the effect of bullying on certain individuals. Uh, so it's been a, it's been tough. It's been tough sharing the story every day, but I know I'm, I know it's doing a lot of good. I'll be honest, it's, it's not easy. Uh, we have two other children. My daughter, Megan, who's now 29, uh, she's still home with us. She was severely wounded by this psychologically. and. We've been dealing with issues with her ever since the event. And uh, my son, Connor, who's now 18, he's autistic. Uh, so he has some special needs as well. So uh, it's not easy for us, for both of us. And um, a lot of times I feel bad because a lot of it's been put on my wife in terms of my other two children. But it's a sacrifice we're both putting, we're doing together. You know, the girl and the boy, they were the, the main uh, bullies in the story. Uh, they were just children making some bad decisions and uh, we forgave them a long time ago. The part I'm struggling with the most is forgiving myself because uh, I do feel like there were mistakes that I made along the way that, mm -hmm. um, you know, that could have prevented this. And so that's what my parent book is all about is trying to, to share with parents the mistakes that I felt I had made as, as his dad and uh, for them to learn from that. Where are they now? Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give... Oh. So yeah, um, now I'm going to be right back with another video about the same person, but... Oh, New at 11, a man traveled more than a thousand miles to be in our community tonight to tell his son's story, and it's one he hopes will help another family avoid tragedy. News Channel 5's Elizabeth Harrington live in Fort Pierce with our report. Elizabeth? Bullies can be in any school, and that's why St. Andrew's Episcopal Academy invited John Halligan here today. He told parents his story and the valuable lesson he learned. Brian Halligan was just 13 years old when he committed suicide in 2003. Yeah. His father, John, says he was bullied. One kid was spreading rumors that he was gay, and then there was a girl that he tried to connect with online from the school, and she pretended to like him uh, and told him to his face that he was a loser. Since his son died, John Halligan has toured the country speaking to parents and students about bullying. I'm hopeful tonight when I talk to the parents to give them information about the mistakes that we made along the way. Speaking to parents at St. Andrew's Episcopal Academy tonight, he told them Ryan's story and then gave them tips. You need to invade their privacy. You need to check in on them. He told parents to monitor your child's computer use. No secret passwords, no social media unless it's a family page, and talk about bullying and suicide. This generation, they have the internet now as an option to go home to and find another way to torment each other. Amy Acock is a parent who helped organize the event. Bullying is something she knows very well. I was in 10th grade and I was bullied. Uh, and it, uh, it was really rough. Like the parents here, Acock wants to be prepared in case her child is a target. Learning the tools to be able to, down the road ever, if it should happen, um, be able to help my daughter. Tonight's discussion was only for parents. Tomorrow, Halligan will be back here to speak with students. Live in Fort Pierce, Elizabeth Harrington, WPTV, News Channel 5. Okay, that would be it for this video. Um, I just want to share this video because it was, it is a emotional type of a video. Um, if you haven't seen yesterday's video yet, I think it was about 30 minute long video. But, so if you have 30 minutes of spare time, please watch it because it actually is very emotional um if schools or um 
If anyone wants me to speak, I will be happy to. Even though I never really lost a child before. Because I'm not old enough to really have to lose a child. I would say I'm old enough to have a child, but first of all, I don't have a child. I mean, even though I'm old enough, technically to have up to a three-year-old. Or almost a four-year-old or whatever. Not really old enough to understand suicide or killing yourself or... Yeah, but... Just remember, people love you. It might not feel like it, but people do. And people will miss you. Okay? Love you guys. Bye.